Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. What's better than NBA basketball on a Saturday night? We're here to bring you the action. Joined by Chris Weber and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. A look at the Pistons starting group. They and Grant make up the forward pair. Jackson out there with Cunningham. And it's Cousins in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Cleveland, they've got Ricky Rubio. Jared Allen out there with Mobley. Then there's Okoro. And it's Rain Man in at the two spot. And Grant, for the super teams that are managing their stars minutes right now, it seems like home court advantage is less of a priority than being fresh for the postseason. You know what, B.A.? It really does seem that way. It's like you'd rather play with a stacked hand on someone else's table than play with a weaker hand at home. Championship teams know how to win on the road. The most important thing is being healthy and being together as a group going into the postseason. Ask pretty much any coach. That's how he'd like to start the game. Here's Cunningham. Covered by Rubio. Cousins. The rebound by Allen. Pass to Rubio. Here's Okoro. He shoots a three. First shot won't go. Here's Cunningham, covered by Rubio. Bay outside. Here's Cunningham. His last outing, he had 20. Six on the shot clock. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Jackson can't get it to go. And here comes Cleveland. Allen, the pass to Rubio. Takes it inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Grant. He's been a big scorer for this offense. Averaging around 20 points a game. From nine feet. That's good on the jumper. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. The Cavs have gone two of three to get this one going. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Here's Cunningham. His numbers are solid. Putting up around 18 points a game. The three... The Pistons rebound. Here's Cousins. And Cousins throws it down. Such a massive guy. Cousins is a wrecking ball on the glass. Outside Rubio. Pass to Akuro. Hey, from beyond the arc. Hits a three-pointer. Come out with guns. Blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the deep really. Now here's Bay. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Cunningham. Fires from 14. Rain Man grabs the board. Pass to Mobley. Up and in on the layup. Mobley's got his second basket of the night. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Jackson outside. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. And here's Grant. Here's Cunningham. There's Jackson with the three. Can't get it to drop. Pass to Akuro. Here's Rain Man. Beyond the arc. And the three-pointer goes. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's Cunningham. Allen defending. Jackson, right side. Here's Cousins. Covered by Rubio. And here's Cunningham outside. Pistons keep it alive. Allen against Cousins. That shot off. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. He shoots it. 
goes back up. And it's Allen laying it in. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Detroit calls timeout. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. In that kind of environment, every point matters. The bench was a huge reason why they won that one. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Kevin Love. It's not a great trend for him. Not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. Maybe it's his effort. Who knows? But that's something that needs to change. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Cunningham. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Five on the clock. Looking to end the drought. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got four rebounds in the game. You know, Cade Cunningham has proven he can get it done on offense. Now check this out. Back in college, he racked up 13 points in just 91 seconds of play. Here's Rainman coming off a 31-point game. And Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got six points. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. Now here's Grant. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. And it's blocked. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition save. And the Pistons making a change here. Lopez is checked in. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 10 shooting. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Grant. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. Now here's Rubio. Checking his stats. He's scoring around 9.5 points per game. Here's Rayman. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Personal foul. That's on Brook Lopez. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passing in the first half has been outstanding. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. He's perfect from the line this time. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Detroit calls timeout. Here's Lopez. Eight points in his last timeout. Here's Cunningham. Bay left side. Over a Coro. Bay, no good. And here comes Cleveland. They're on a 20 to 4 run. Rayman. Oh, he goes up high for the two handed slam. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. With defense that soft, you have to take them to task. Pass to Mobley. It's rebounded by Grant. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And Akuro gets it to go. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Now Graham. Here's Cunningham.
Just five to shoot. There's Jackson with the three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Akuro to the paint. Here's Mobley. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Well, you think defensively that you're trying to pack in the lane. I mean, but that, then that opens up some opportunities for the shooter. Here's Cunningham. Hey, from long range. Mobley grabs the board. Rubio with the ball. Picked up by Grant. Out to the right wing. Back to Allen. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. A shot to stop the run. Good. He hits the jumper. Cunningham's gotten his second bucket of the game. The defense was certainly a little late in reacting to the step back. Cleveland calls timeout. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. I found it was an interesting game. Anything they couldn't get from their starters, they got from their reserves. And when the bench steps up, it takes pressure off the starters. And they stepped up big in that game. So both teams making some changes here. Cleveland has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Pass to Markkinen. Back to Sexton. Over Jackson. Sexton misses. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. To the middle. Back to Joseph. Jackson outside. Now here's Grant. Here's Joseph over Garland. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Pass to Love. Down low. And it's Sexton. That time on the assist by Love. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Joseph. Grant with it. Love comes over on the double. Here's Joseph. Jackson outside. Back to Lopez. Here's Grant. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Oh, here's Love with the jam. And this is why I like seeing Love close to the basket because there's no stopping. He can flush it every time when he's got great position. Here's Joseph. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Grant's gone two of four so far tonight. Pass to Rain Man. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. It's stolen by Olenek. A minute 53 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Jackson. That one a little long. No question who's in control of the board so far. Now Love. Covered by Lopez. It's good. Love's got his second bucket of the night. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Here's Joseph. Jackson outside. Pass to Lopez. Four on the clock. Grant. Love grabs the miss. Cleveland has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Now Garland. Good work defensively by Lopez. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. And Grant gets it to go. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. Oh, that's good. Love's got six. He's got a great understanding of the inside game. He's going to make the most of those opportunities. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. First team foul. 
Shooting for Detroit. Corey Joseph at the line for two. And he makes a first. Stewart, he's checked in for the Pistons. Both good from the line that time. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Sexton passes to Love. To the right side. Pass to Sexton. Out to the wing. On the wing, Sexton. Shot clock at six. Marking it from long range. Count it. One for one to start the game. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Oh, yeah, they certainly found something along the perimeter. Just an onslaught of three-point bombs. Grant outside. Goes up at the stripe. The shot that time not on target. And so it's Cleveland already up 26 points as this quarter ends. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead back after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. Here's Joseph setting the floor for the Pistons. We've got Jackson. Kelly Olenek is out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then it's Corey Joseph, and it's Grant in at the small forward position. Pass to Jackson. Just five on the clock. And here's Olenek. Checked by Sexton. Here's Joseph. The three-pointer off the mark. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Rainman with the fadeaway. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy. And so far, it's paying off in this game. Now here's Grant. Pass to Joseph. Here's the three. Knocks down the triple. Joseph. Joseph has got five points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. What he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. Here's Joseph. He's got five. And stolen by Sexton. Here we go. Garland, the pass to Sexton. Garland with the ball. Inside. Here's Markkinen. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Markkinen is making this. It boosts his aggressiveness. And it helps him fire up, too. Pass to Jackson. Outside Olenek. Grant with it. Check by Sexton. Shot clock at five. Grant's shot is off. Cleveland has gone four of five from outside the arc in this one. To the inside. Here's Rainman. Now here's Markkinen. Guarded by Olenek. Back to Markkinen. Outside Garland. To the middle. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Detroit has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to Cousins. Banked it in off the glass. Oh, Boogie is a beast inside. It's going to take a lot more than a little contact to stop him from finishing. Outside Garland. And here's Sexton. 
Market and finds Sexton. Here's Okoro. He's covered by Bay. And the ball out of play. The Pistons the will have it. Detroit. Grant, your dad played pro football. You think that players who grew up around pro sports have an advantage? Yes, B.A. Obviously, being around a professional athlete, understanding the dedication, the sacrifice, the work that goes into it, really, I think, helped me at an early age as I was developing in a different sport. Here's Cunningham. Back to Joseph. Bay outside. Pass to Cunningham. From deep. Doesn't go for him. And it's Cleveland the other way. Here's Mobley. Oh, trying his luck from deep. They grab their own miss. And Allen gets it to go. Allen's got eight points. Tremendous effort from Allen. One of the top offensive rebounders in the game. To the wing on the left. Cousins against Allen to the left side wing. Here's Cunningham. Back to Cousins. Sinks his third bucket. He's three for six now. Oh, really? Cousins is so big and strong that you really have to whack him to prevent him from scoring. He welcomes contact with open arms and one. Now here's Sexton. And they pick up two. He's got ten. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. To the paint. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. You're yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Cunningham. The shot no good. Rubio with some nice D. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Basket counts. Allen's got six points in the quarter. With a soft touch around the basket, when Allen gets good looks inside, he's able to capitalize. Here's Cunningham, covered by Rubio. Pass to Cousins. Here's Cunningham. Takes a three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team see, Webb, what a terrific development it's been to see the resurgence of pro hoops in New York. For sure. The league is always more fun than this buzz in the big Two out. shots. Here's hoping the New York teams uh, make some noise in the next few years to come. That free throw good from Allen. I like that Allen plays with attitude. He's got a competitive streak, and it blends so well with his natural athletic ability. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Cunningham. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Sexton finds Allen. And the basket by Rubio. Rubio's got his second basket of the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Over to the left wing. Cousins against Allen. Bay outside. Six to shoot. And here's Cunningham outside. Hits the trifecta. Cunningham's got seven points. Well, he's not focused on the D on most possessions, but you can forget about him altogether. Pass to Akuro. Here's Mobley. Stewart defends. Hey, expanding his range. Counted from distance. He's got seven. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Let's talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Here's Joseph. Five points in the game. Pass to Cousins. Here's Cunningham. Over Rubio. And it's Cunningham missing. 
Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. The three from Sexton. The Pistons clear it. And here's Bay. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Cunningham, covered by Rubio. Inside, here's Stewart. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Down low. Pass to Allen. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on to Marcus Cousins. Jarrett Allen taking two shots. First free throw is good. Finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. Lopez, he's checked in for Cousins. And so he makes both from the line. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Detroit has gone 2 of 5 from deep here in the second. Cleveland has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line in this one. Pass to Rubio. Over to the wing. Here's Mobley. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Denver. Sexton passes to Allen. Outside Rubio. Now here's Sexton. Over Cunningham. Offensive rebound. The three from Okoro. Doesn't go in. Two for four in this game. For Detroit, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. And that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got nine. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Right side, Rubio. Pass to Mobley. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Good man. The defender really went after him. Shooting for Cleveland. Evan Mobley. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the Pistons making a change here. Olenek checked in. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. For Detroit, they've gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Here's Cunningham. Nine points in the game. Bay outside. Pass to Cunningham. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Joseph from the arc. Rubio with the rebound. If you can't hit that one, your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Though. Now Sexton. Out to Rubio. And Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got six points in the quarter. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. Here's Cunningham. Rejected by Allen. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. Both teams deciding to change it up. Now into the lineup for the Pistons. Left side to the middle. Here's Cunningham. And the layup falls. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 11 points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. You look back at the 2014 NBA draft. Some of the best players of that class were second round picks, including Jeremy Grant. Becoming a premier two way wing, Grant was a steal going 39th second overall to Philly. In addition to Jeremy Grant, there were a bunch of great selections in that 2014 second round. Tell me about it. I mean, how about all-star Nikola Jokic? Probably the best player in the draft was a second rounder. Throw in Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Powell, amongst the others. I mean, just showing that you can find talent late in drafts. Garland's checked in for Okoro. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Detroit has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. 
Here's Cunningham. He's got 11. And here's Grant from the arc. Knocks down the long chain. Nine points in the game. But the D didn't do a good enough job on him. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. Yeah, he's just not getting the ball up. He's passing with a purpose. And is leading the scores. Now here's Olenek. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Orlando. And he had two blocks also, don't forget. I mean, it tells you what kind of presence he was for at both ends of the floor. Rubio finds Markkinen. Now Garland. Out to the right wing. Here's Rainman. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Here's Cunningham over Garland. And he was Please fouled foul. while in the act of shooting. First so he'll take two foul. free throws. First team foul. Shooting for Detroit. Cade Cunningham. Two shots. First free throw is good. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And he makes both free throws. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Cleveland has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Garland, the pass to Markkinen. Back to Garland. Outside Rubio. Pass to Rainman. Here's Markkinen. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Markkinen's got his third bucket of the night. The mid-range game of Markkinen is so sweet. I mean, early on, he's demonstrated how dangerous he is from out there. The kick to Olenek. This one for three. He's now one for two with that bucket. Other than a long line of big men who can drain the three. That makes him a very tough cover. Inside. Pass to Garland. Here's Rain Man. And here's Rubio. Love passes to Rubio. To the paint. He got a piece of it. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now Jackson. Guarded by Garland. Grant, right side. There's the triple. And the Pistons! Jeremy another Grant. three! And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Let's the three fly. Sinks the tray. He's got 16. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Let's talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. And so it's Cleveland with zero pressure as they hold on to a 35-point advantage. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here now with Dwayne Casey. Coach, how do you assess your shot selection and your decision-making offensively? Well, we had some good looks. We just got to make sure we keep our poise and composure and knock them down. We had some good looks. We knew they were going to come out with a lot of juice, a lot of speed, a lot of quickness. We made some mistakes defensively, not matching up quick enough. So, again, we got to keep our composure and stay with our game plan defensively. Good luck. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. And guys from Cleveland, Kenny, give us your tip. Well, they built this lead in large part because of the sharpshooters off the bench. The subs played a superb game. Get it? Sub, superb. Oh, I'm rolling tonight. <laughs> I mean, they played like starters. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Detroit? Definitely they need to get out in the free point shooting and the test. Oh, so this is what happens when another team identifies your weakness. It just keeps hammering on it. 
And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. Big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. The Pistons shooting just around 36%. Not the best execution. Jared Allen out there with Mobley. Then there's Okoro. Then there's Ricky Rubio. And it's Rain Man in at the two. That's J.B. Bickerstaff's five as we get going in the second half. And we're going to have a jump ball. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. So it's Detroit now. Here's Cunningham. Four on the clock. Pass to Jackson. Lobs it up. Tip. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Here's Rain Man. Defended by Jackson. To the inside. Here's Mobley. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on to Marcus Cousins. First team foul. Shooting for Cleveland, Evan Mobley. Two shots. The first one falls. So he gets them both. And here's Detroit. Following this one, they host the Trailblazers. That game marks the start of a four-game homestand for the club. Rejected by Allen. Here's Rain Man. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. 18 points for him. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Pass to Cousins. Rejected by Allen. And they're able to recover. And that one's good. Cunningham. An 0 for 3 start to the first half is finally behind them. I mean, now maybe they can get something rolling. Here's Mobley. Outside Rubio. Here's Okoro. Off target from three-point range. Drives to the hoop. Here's Cunningham. Covered by Rubio. Back to Grant. Fires for three. And he's now six for 11 after that one. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. Right wing. Pass to Mobley. Outside Rubio. Hey, puts up a three. Second chance effort. And Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got 18 points in the game. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Here's Cunningham. On the take. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Pistons, Cade Cunningham. And he knocks Taking down the first shots. one. And so he hits both. For Cleveland, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. He does all the little things. I mean, he does the big things. I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And Grant Jeremy gets it to go. Grant. Cleveland has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Pass to Bay. Here's Cunningham, covered by Rubio. And there's the drive. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. 
Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Hey, good. Bay. Amazing floor yes, awareness from Cousins. Skilled Cousins. at spotting the open man. Pass to Mobley. Over Grant. That one's wide left. For Detroit, they've gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Cleveland foul. Evan Mobley. Sexton's checked in for Rubio. And the switch foul. here also for Second Detroit. Stewart, he's checked in for Cousins. Now it is a lineup for the Pistons. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Back to Bay. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Bay's got four points this quarter. Oh, I love it. He's working the ball down low. Always a good plan of attack. Pass to Rainman. Outside Sexton. Here's Akuro. Here's Allen. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Stewart. Here's Cunningham. Allen defending. Now Stewart providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Shot clock at three. There's Jackson with the three. Mobley grabs the board. I hate to say it. He's dragging him down. Not a single bucket. Pass to Akuro. Here's Rainman from outside the arc. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. He's lighting them up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. Here's Cunningham. Checked by Sexton. Fires from 14. No good. A bit long that time. Cleveland has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Down low. Here's Allen. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Here's Cunningham. Checked by Sexton. Knocks it down from Jerry distance. Grant. Grant's got 20. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Mobley. That one's true. And that's 9 for 12 for him now. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Here's Cunningham. He's got 19. Inside. Here's Stewart. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Stewart's got his second bucket on the night. Pass to Allen. Here's Rainman. Here's Akuro. He has six. Here's Mobley. He's covered by Grant. Here's Rainman. Just outstanding. He hits again, and he's still a perfect nine for nine. Oh, he's perfect from the field this quarter. He's given them fits out there. Bay passes to Graham. To the middle. That's good from Jackson. On the assist from Graham. Jackson's got his first bucket in this one. Now that's how you lead your teammate into your scoring chance. I love that assist. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. And the Pistons making a change here. Substitution for Detroit. So it's the home team now. Baseline try. He squares up and sinks it. Love's got 12. And Love has a sweet release on his jump shot. The D has to be more mindful of his ability to score from here. Pass to Lopez. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Third team foul. You can't fall for that. Once Lopez gets you in the air, the rest... At the line for the Pistons. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Cleveland? Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. And they've really displayed a sharp passing game tonight as well. A lot of well-timed assists out there. Olenek's checked in for the Pistons. 
And Lopez drops them both. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Pass to Love. Outside for Sexton. Here's Rainman. 18 feet out. Yes. And a nice assist from Garland. 27 points for him. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Now here's Olenek. Back to Joseph. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got seven. You can count on Olenek to move the ball quickly when he spots an open teammate. And that feed was phenomenal. Here's Markkinen. Soft touch off the glass. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Detroit has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Jackson. Back to Joseph. And there's the lob. And the dunk by Josh Jackson. Jackson. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Cleveland has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Sexton passes to Garland. Hangs in the air. Rebounded by the Pistons. Now here's Jackson to the paint. Here's Joseph. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Joseph has got nine points. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. The Pistons shooting at 45% of the game so far. Inside. Here's Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. I like the show of ferocity from Lopez. Whenever he plays down there with fire, it's infectious. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. The result is an emphatic jam. Oh, well, well, listen, guys, that was great work, making them pay for the laps on defense. And that one's good. Boy, Joseph. Joseph. Man, that's I'm now out, 10 straight out, points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Cleveland calls timeout. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise! McGruder, he's checked in for the Pistons. Rodney McGruder. Cleveland has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. To the wing, right side. Back to Love. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. Here's Magruder. Right now averaging 5.5 a, a game. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Sexton. Here's Rainman. Three-pointer off the mark. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Out left to the wing. Takes the three. And that one's good. Boy, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph has got nine points here in the second half. They've made things hard on themselves, going cold in the first half. But they've been warming up since. Detroit. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Look at this foul. Look, post to up, stretch you out. He adds a lot of versatility to this offense. And the first one at the line is good. Good on both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Detroit has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Pass to Lopez. Back to Joseph. Here's Magruder. Here's Joseph, guarded by Garland. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, that was clearly a foul. Shooting for Detroit. Corey Joseph at the line for two. And he drops a first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Garland. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Down low. Here's Markkinen. 
Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. And the touch from Market in there. Like, I like how he keeps his body control on these tricky buckets. And as great as Markinen is on offense, his defense leaves much to be desired. Doesn't offer much defense as a post player at this point in his career. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Pass to Lopez. The ball's knocked loose. And we've got 118 left in the third. Again, the miss by the Pistons. And for Markin and, and his defense, it's a work in progress. Grant, there's still some time for him to improve. He's got a long way to go. Not a natural rebounder. He just looks a little uneasy when switched into ISO situations. Here's Joseph. He's got 16. Basket's good. Joseph has got 13 points here in the second half alone. From downtown, gets the three to fall. Just been one of those nights for him. He got into the floor of the game and has not lost his touch. Pass to Lopez. Here's Joseph. Guarded by Garland. Back to Lopez. On easy two Lopez. on the layup. Assisting Lopez has got six Corey points. Joseph. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. To the inside. Here's Grant. Blocked! And they're on the break. Here's Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stop. Running the floor to perfection. Love how Markkinen makes himself a huge target in these situations. Here's Joseph. Pass to Graham. With one on the clock. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's Cleveland holding a massive 34-point lead to end the quarter. And they're doing everything they can to put this game away before the final buzzer sounds. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. No, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Setting the floor for the Pistons. Trey Lyles is out there with Brooke Lopez. Then there's Saban Lee. Then there's Hayes. And it's Magruder in at the three. Oh, Rajon Rondo's never been a sharp shooter, but over the course of his career, he's gotten more comfortable from range. Here's Lyles. Here's Magruder. It's rebounded by Wade. And so many young players now on their phones. Chris, they're connected to their fans and loved ones through social media. Some worry about how that affects team chemistry. How about you? Well, every guy's different. I, I never thought that it's one rule or one way for everyone. You have to let people be themselves. And, and usually guys will flourish uh, positively when they're in the great space. And cream's going to rise to the top. We've heard of guys like Yon swear off social media. Others we know, they probably look at their phones during halftime. It's just case by case. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Pass to Magruder. Over Garland. Magruder, no good. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Well, tally up another helper from Rondo. I mean, he just keeps climbing that all-time assist list. Incredible career that keeps going. Now here's Lopez. Back to Lee. Clock at six. They need this. He can't hit that time. And it's Cleveland the other way. Pass to fall. 
Oh, a clear this foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The officials were right on top of that one. Shooting for Cleveland. Taco Fall. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Well, over the last few years, the NBA has worked to make the schedule more manageable, Chris. That includes fewer back-to-backs. Yeah, and for us fans, that's been a great adjustment. Uh, those back-to-backs, uh, you know, it could be a struggle at times. And we want to make sure the players are there, especially on the road, so that the fans can come see them. Okoro is checked in for Garland. For Cleveland, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Rondo gets the bucket. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Hayes with it. Let's it fly. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Hayes has got his first two points. Pass to Osman. Here's Fall. Here's Rondo. Here's Osman. Stewart defends. Osman, no good. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. And it's going to be out of bounds. Detroit will have another go. Piston ball. And here's Hayes. On the wing, Bay. Jacks up a three. Nails it from three. A slow start for him, but making amends here in the second half. Here's Fall. And he banks in the layup. <laughs> they have no answer defensively inside. The Pistons have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Here's Lee. Into the lane. And he jams it home with authority. Just knifing his way to the rim. He looked practically unstoppable on that play. Pass to fall. Here's Osman. Out to the right wing. 4-3. Kept alive. Here's fall. Here's Wade. And finally they hit one. And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. Trey, wow. so, so energetic. Hoping to lead the charge for this team. Getting the ball inside, usually a pretty good recipe. Oh, power down with both hands. Coach is loving the ball movement. The Pistons have gone four for ten in the fourth. Here's Lee. Pass to Bay. To the middle. Here's Stewart. He can't get it to go. And it's Cleveland the other way. To the inside. Here's Wade. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way. And get a great look. Now here's Hayes. Pass to Bay. It's rebounded by Wade. The D making that layup looks very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Here's Rondo. Sends it home from three-point land. Rondo, he's got eight points in the quarter. Detroit has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Hayes, the pass to Stewart. Cavaliers foul. Taco foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Detroit. Isaiah Stewart. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Cleveland has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Akuro. Oh, he tries a three. The Pistons clear it. 
Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Bay outside. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Cleveland ball. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Pass to Osman. Rondo with it. To the left wing. Shoots it from the corner, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Osman's got his first points of the night. Pistons shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. And here's Bay. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And great job to establish position and square up. Aporo. Second personal foul. First team foul. And Detroit has possession. Here's Lyles. Inside. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Cavaliers ball. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Here's Rondo. And it's off from three-point range. Detroit has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Here's Lee. Now Hayes, pass to Bay. Let's go with a three. It's hauled in by Fall. This has not been his best quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. And the shot goes down. The assist by Rajon Rondo. And the Pistons shooting the ball at 43% from the field. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Hayes inside. And no good. And it's Cleveland the other way. Pass to Osman. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Defensive foul. That's Hold on. They won't guard it. Besides mismatch, it's just too big. First All he has to do foul. is just keep attacking Second the rim. Magruder, he's checked in for Bay. Here's Lee. Pass to Stewart. Here's Lyles. Here's Lee. Five to shoot. Will it go? And he drives in. Offensive rebound. Good on the bucket. Steven Lee. Lee's got four points in the quarter. Uh, no basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. Here's Rayman. And they get it back. Wade. And that one's drained from the low block. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting strong. The Pistons shooting just 28% during this fourth quarter. Hayes in the high post. Pass to Magruder. It's rebounded by Wade. Cleveland has gone two of six so far in the fourth. To the paint. Howard down after the assist led him to the lane. Oh, man. Challenging the defense inside with the pass. That's just good ball move. Now here's Hayes. Stewart with it. Back to Hayes. Down low. And Stewart with the basket on the assist by Hayes. Oh, that's some skill on that assist. I mean, the timing has to be perfect on a lead pass. Here's Wade. The Pistons clear it. Stewart's got four rebounds now. To the inside. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but he drew the foul, and he'll go to the line. Second personal foul. Second team foul. 
Shooting for Detroit, Isaiah Stewart. And the first one at the line is good. Hits both from the stripe. And here's Rondo. Here's Rain Man. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, amongst the best passes ever, Rondo averaged more than 11 per game for two minutes three minutes 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 minutes. Here's Lee. Here's Stewart. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Cleveland shooting the ball 70% on this game. Here's Rainman. He's defended by Hayes. Osman, no good. Detroit has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Misses the three. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. Here's Rainman. Pass to fall. Over to the wing. Six to shoot. Right wing. Outside. Rondo. Rebound Detroit. 59 seconds left to play in the fourth. Magruder, no good. Cleveland shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Osman lays it up and banks it in. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. Here's Lee. There's 38 seconds left in the game. And he's going for the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Pass to Rainman. Driving in. Count it. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great feeling. Now here's Hayes. Here's Lyles. Here's Magruder. Oh, he picked him clean. Outside, Rondo. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.